In this video, we're going to array trees along a parametric path and scale the trees randomly and color along a gradient. This path can be controlled using control points with a gumball, allowing us to reshape the path interactively. So let's go ahead and open up the parametric tree from the first video. Copy it, copy the cluster, and paste it into a new document. This will be the start. This will be the element that we array along the path. You can go ahead and turn off the previews. We're going to start by creating a collection of points. So double click on the canvas and type in point. We'll add a simple point parameter. And we're going to right click on it to set multiple points. And we will draw points on the grid, create a nice curve of increasing amplitude. We can adjust these points when we click on the point collection using the gumball if it's turned on. To turn it on, go to display and make sure gumballs is turned on. It'll be easy to edit. We're going to interpolate points between these control points. So I'll use the interpolate data command and place that here. I'm going to plug point into data. And for the parameter, I need a range. I'll double click and add a range function. Plug that into parameter. And you'll see a linear interpolation between these points with the default number. So of 10. I'm going to add a number slider to plug into steps that has the number of points, uh, the number of trees I want. So I'll add in a number slider. I'll right click on the left side, or double click on the left side. I'm going to rename this count, set it to integer, set the range to say 36, and the numeric value to maybe 24 for our initial value. I'm going to plug this into my number of steps. And we can see the number uh, 24 points between here. Mouse over and see 25 coming out. Um, if I want to keep the count exactly at 24, I could click here on steps and do x minus 1. Right now it's a linear interpolation. I want to change that, so I'm going to right click on interpolate data on the middle, change this to cap mult to get a nice spline interpolated between the control points. We're ready to start moving trees to these points. We're going to use the move to uh, point command, which is from the Pufferfish add-on plugin. So make sure you install the Pufferfish plugin. And I'm going to double click and add move to point. I'm going to connect this interpolate data will be my point B. My point A will initially be, we'll plug in the tree trunks first. So I'll plug in the tree trunks from the conifer cluster into geometry. 
I'm going to right click on geometry and hide the wire display. Point A, we're going to move this from the origin. That's where the initial tree is constructed. And rather than constructing a point, I'm going to place a panel and put in the values for the origin. I'll start by right clicking on the top of the panel and setting that to the name to origin. And I'll double click in the panel, and type in 0, 0, 0 for my origin coordinates. I'm going to plug this into my point A. And my value, I'll plug into point B, uh, the interpolated data values. If my tree trunks are too close together now, um, I can adjust my initial points. So I'll right click on my point. I'll click on my points and in top view, and I'll adjust their location. Until I have starting to get the curve I want. starting to look better. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing with the tree trunks. I'll copy this move to point. Copy, control C, paste, control V. And I'm going to replace the geometry input for this with a canopy out of the cluster. And there I start to see my tree canopy. Now, these are pretty tightly spaced, but that's okay because I'm going to scale them. We're going to scale these randomly. I'm going to go ahead and group this initial array. Name it Array Trees Along. Next, I'm going to add a scale command. This will be for the canopy. I'll plug it in as geometry. And for the center point, I'll hide the existing canopy. Um, for the center point, I'm going to make it the same as the tree trunk, the same as the original canopy, the unscaled canopy. So I'll plug the vector in as center. And for the scale factor, I will add a random component. So double click and add random with Schrodinger's cat. And now I'm going to plug random in as the factor. Um, right now, it's a single. Um, uh, single random number. I'm going to put in the same as the count here. So 36, 24. Um, and I need to construct a range for this as well. 
the range right now is from 0 to 1, which leads scaling to 0. So um, I'm going to add a panel. And, in the panel, I'll write 0 0.5 to 1 for my range. If I want to reduce the size, I can potentially can here, say so 0 0.25 to 7.5, uh, 0, 0 0.75. The next step will be to add some color to this. I'll go ahead and group this. And I will um, I may also I'll, uh, name this scale trees randomly scale trees. And I may also scale the um, may also scale the trunk. So I'll use a scale non-uniform. I'm going to plug the model in as the geometry. And I'll use a regular scale. I'll plug the trunk geometry in, uh, vector to center, and the scale factor. I'm going to right click and set the number to 0 0.75, the same as my the top of my current domain. Now I'll add this to the group as well. If I want to adjust the points, now might be a good time. And as a final step, I'll add color. So I'll add a custom preview for the trunks first. This will be simple. I'll just place the custom preview, connect it to the trunk geometry. And for the material, I will add a color swatch. set it to a nice brown. There's a bit of red in there. Go ahead and select everything else. Click on the middle mouse button to pull up the context menu and disable the preview with its blindfold. Now I'm going to add a custom preview with interpolated colors for the canopy. So I'm going to start by taking three color swatches. And interpolating between the colors. So I'll set this to a nice dark blue-green, a nice evergreen. One I'll set to 
to an orange for full color. And this one I'll set to a, um, a nice dark red. I'm going to put this into an interpolate data component. I'll start with the evergreen, so I'll drag that in. Shift click and drag the other two in. For the parameter, I need a range. The domain will be from 0 to 1, the default. And the number of steps will be the same as the count. And we now will add a custom preview. This will be, these interpolated colors will be the material. The geometry will be the scale geometry. We'll hide the wire for range. So we're starting to see our scaled colored trees. If we want to extend the range of the green. What I can do is I can change this range. I'm going to drop down a panel. And I'm going to make my domain from minus 1 to 1 this time. And this will extend the, uh, the lower side of my range, giving me more green, more of the dark evergreens. group the end of these components together and call this color gradient. And um, adjust the number of trees. Um, we should Look at a few things. Right now we have one extra color. So on steps here in the range, I'm going to add an expression x minus 1 so that we have the correct number of 30 interpolated values, the same as our count. Um, if we want to reverse the, val the color values, I can right click here on value and reverse to switch the color around. And that's a wrap for creating uh, trees along a path.